Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Rumors are starting to circle around this game, EAFC 24, because of the potential SBC that could be coming today. Sundays, as we know, are usual days where we see icon or hero upgrade pack or player pick SBCs. And with this base hero player pick expiring, the base icon pack has been gone for a day now. What is going to be replacing one of those or both of those SBCs? today could it be the first icon player pick of the year that would be an incredibly hyped sbc but i have some thoughts on if that's going to actually go down today we're going to talk about that and a lot more related to the market related to radioactive and potential leaks we still have evolutions to come we still have more radioactive cards that have been leaked coming potentially as sbcs today and on the market we'll talk about that in today's video and more if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up subscribe if you're new now let's go into sbcs and talk about what we got yesterday really quick to start things off ea did it again we had one during the centurions promo we have it again now we love a good crafting upgrade grind guys i don't think a crafting grind like this has ever been an L. Once again, they've released a crafting SBC, which corresponds to, of course, the objective where you get even more packs. You've got an 11 gold players requirement here. It can be common golds, of course, and you get a three rare gold players pack back. Now, that is a good upgrade, right? It's solid. And you might say, well, is it behind the curve? Because we've had that one a couple weeks previous to now inside of the Centurions promo. Maybe you could, but also the fact that it's tied to of course, the objective. Where is the objective? I cannot find it. It's got to be. It's in milestones. There it is. Because it's going to be here for a while. 19 days inside of the milestones tab. It is the crafting upgrade completionist. Once again, we have to do it 100 times to get all the way to the end. An 85 double, an 81 11, an 83 5. Some really good packs inside of here, guys. And honestly, it is worth doing this. Whether you do it really quick, you go out and spend coins, or you spend FC points on packs. Or it takes you like it will take me probably all 18, 19 days to get this one done. I think the Centurions one took me almost the full time that it was out to get done. It's so worth it. EA's giving out fodder for free right now, man. Like you clear out your club from gold commons. You get rewards each week from squad battles, from rivals, all the other packs that are available. You get gold commons. You put them into the crafting upgrade. You work your way towards completing that objective. You play games every day, right? Under the live tab, we've got the daily play game completionist and of course we've got the advent uh as well the advent calendar which we're doing every single day and getting packs back from it's like ea is just giving us fodder everywhere right now and there's so many packs like there's gonna be a lot of sbcs in december guys i just have a feeling because of how much fodder they are going to be giving us so that bodes well for maybe some fodder investments we'll talk about that in a little bit uh, as well but that's kind of the content that was centralized at least the hype was centralized around that crafting upgrade yesterday we always love a good crafting upgrade grind now we had some other upgrade sbcs as well which i think some people are going to like especially if you're doing the bronze pack method if you're really grinding the menus the premium bronze and silver upgrades they are okay i don't think they're great i think they're okay but only are the people that are really grinding the menus a lot like a lot of bpm going into the mixed leagues upgrade or the premium mixed league upgrade sbc sees really are they those are going to be the only people that benefit from those so if that's you i think you're semi happy there have been better crafting sbcs in the past though for sure but for the first ones of the year it's at least okay now this is one that i would recommend doing guys with your bronzes and silvers you can do this every single day a bronze and silver squad in each of these upgrades gets you an 11 gold players pack which again is 11 gold players 10 common, 1 rare. You have a potential pack and a promo card, but also you can just throw those cards right back into the crafting upgrade, and that will help you get some of those bronzes and silvers out of the club that are unneeded and unused unless you're using them for league SBC. So be careful with the ones that you put in. But you can put those cards into that gold upgrade and then get yourself some gold common. So that one, I think, is the most worth it out of all of them for most people. And then, of course, we had the Milan Skriniar SBC. Finally, it was released, right? We had this leak for a couple of days. Low high work rates, three-star weak foots, a little underwhelming. But uh, the most interesting thing about this card, in my opinion, is the playstyle plus, power header plus playstyle. He's got jockey, slide tackle, and bruiser. So decent defending playstyles. 
Of course, the chemistry here with the PSG Lynx is very, very good. It's a solid card. I wouldn't say it's amazing. I think it's just solid. And I think you can kind of tell that's how people feel too. Like the upgrade on the SBC, it's only 20% upvoted. I'm actually pretty surprised that that is a 20% upvoted SBC. I mean, I don't think it's that bad. I feel like it's, yeah, more around like this like to dislike ratio on flipping. That's how I feel about the SBC. I mean, especially if you need PSG links, this is a solid card to do. Of course, Lee Kang In is an SBC that's been available via Thunderstruck as well, but this card gets even better links. His base gold card, I heard, was solid. This might be a card that I do just for the links alone. We'll have to see. 164K. It is just a couple of squads. It's not that bad. You do need an inform inside of it. 85, 86. Oh, you, yeah. You need one inform in the 86 rated squad. So, again, I just feel like it's it's okay. I, it's just mid, honestly. If you want to use one word to describe it, I would say mid. And I'm really curious to know about that playstyle plus. I think I would have rather had, like... I don't know, the golden the golden raccoon, right? Anticipate plus or maybe block in here. I'm not sure why they gave him the power header. Maybe it's going to be super OP on corners or clearing the ball out of the box for defending. I mean, how tall is Screening R? Six foot two, which is like jumping and stuff. Seven on heading and 91 jumping. So I'm sure he'll be good in the air, of course, with that. But a very interesting one to see on a center back there. Now, a couple other places we had content yesterday, of course. Of course, the store, right? EA's going out with some packs, and they dropped a pretty mental pack in the store yesterday. A very expensive 450,000 coin pack right here, and uh, it's guaranteeing you 587 rated players and above, a 45% chance of a radioactive player. Now, it is untradeable, and I wouldn't say that the market had a ton of movements yesterday based off of this, but one part of the market that I did notice that dropped off a considerable amount were 88 rated. 88 rated are 23,000 coins right now, but yesterday they went from about 24k down to about 22. They dropped 2,000 coins a card. They've started to come back up a little bit, and I have to wonder if maybe some of that was because of a lot of 88s that people were probably packing from those SBCs. I mean, 89s as well went from 36K down to 34. Let me take a look at 87s. Oberdorf is 15.5 right now. Did these drop yesterday? They did. Like these cards, they were down to 14,000 coins probably uh, on bids and stuff. I have to imagine that even though this pack is not being opened by a crazy number of people because it's very expensive, $30, uh, 450,000 coins, and it's untradeable, I have to imagine that that would have maybe impacted the market a little bit. There was, of course, some tradable supply elsewhere um, on the market via lightning rounds. But the fact that uh, the fodder dropped off and like, you know, other 80, 85s like Kingsley Coman, he was like the same price, still like 7,000 coins. But it's that high rated fodder that dipped a bit, 87s and above, makes me think that that pack in the store did cause that. So that was pretty crazy. And uh, also, we can't talk about yesterday with, without mentioning some of the Thunderstruck cards that are moving up in value, specifically Jolinton for the big win yesterday, Newcastle over United. Uh, Jolinton's card, who was a 30,000 coin card last week when he was in packs, like 34, 35,000 coins for half of the week. This guy is now 45K, 45,000 coins because more upgrades are coming. And a lot of the other cards, if we take a look at the Thunderstruck promo team, they just keep rising, guys. And this was expected, but it's nice to see the movements finally come in, right? Nesta is up. Even some of the icons. Cafu's up. Bernardo Silva is up. Uh, Varane down, of course, because of the loss. We mentioned that in yesterday's video. If you don't want to risk it, selling in the hype is the play. If a team of a live card does lose, usually you see some drops. Fakir's up 100K. Hemp is up 40,000 coins a card. Um, Jesus is 230. What a rise. Ansu Fatu, Chan, Gomez. Almost all of these cards are really starting to rise in value, especially for the ones that had more wins and they're progressing towards even more upgrades. Now, again, these upgrades won't come out probably until Wednesday of this next week. They have to wait through all the league games to be played this weekend. But that is looking nice for some of those Thunderstruck cards and icons that are getting closer and closer to that next win and upgrade. More games happening today, so watch out for cards that are playing today. Sell on the hype if you wish. I still have a couple of Quadrados. That is a big, big game today in the Serie A. Napoli against Inter. This is a really, like, this This is a card, guys, that could be 140,000 coins tonight, or he could be, like, 100K, honestly. It's going to be one of those two things. Either he's going to be 140K, or he's going to be 100. And if they lose, he'll be down. If they win, he'll be up. But I do have a couple of those. Hopefully, he rises up a bit into the game, and I can sell under the hype. But let's talk about the big topic at hand, guys. We mentioned it in the intro. We're talking about an SBC that, that went away 
yesterday, two days ago now, the base icon upgrade. We've all done it, right? Actually, I didn't. So I can't say we've all done it because I didn't do that because I was focusing on Mbappe. But I'm seeing so many icons in people's teams. A lot of people did the base icon SBC during Black Friday. A lot of rumors and a lot of people have been whispering and saying, hey, what's our next SBC? We had the base hero upgrade. And then they went straight to the base hero player pick. Are they going to go from the base hero? Are they going to go from the base icon upgrade straight to the base icon player pick in early December after the first time that they released the base icon pack? Well, let's take a look back in the past just to kind of check and see when did they drop the first base icon player pick last year? It was 175,000 coins and went back on Footbin, did the math. This SBC didn't come out until the end of December, guys. The first icon player pick last year came out at the end of December. And usually EA are pretty one-to-one -one, uh, with how they release the SBCs and this, you know, kind of gradually increase them and all that hype as we go through on uh, out the year. There are people saying that they think that a base icon player pick is coming, but honestly, I just can't see it. I think it's too early. Even as people are talking about this and I didn't go back and look to see when the first one was released last year, it seemed too early in my mind. I was like, wait, we just had the first uncapped base icon upgrade pack like how are they going to drop a pack one time or two times in the same week for black friday and then come out right after that and drop a a, a player pick for those same amount of cards if they were to drop an icon player pick which we wouldn't have really too much of a heads up on guys because again packs uh, player picks don't get added to the code as much as packs do a lot of times there aren't as many leaks for that it's Player picks just kind of drop, and then we're like, wow, what a surprise. Like the campaign bag player picks that we had, some of those, the year in review, there really, really wasn't a leak for that. It was kind of a surprise. So that's how it would probably be with an icon, maybe a small leak here or there. Uh, but right now, there's, there's really nothing, nothing concrete from what I've seen about a legit base icon player pick. Honestly, guys, I would have to say, if, like I was starting to say, if they were to re release a player pick, it would probably be like a max 88 or a max 89 player pick. And that would feel like constricting the player pool again. And it would probably not be that hype. Like I, w I would rather EA just release the regular base icon upgrade that we had the past couple of weeks at the same price today. Like EA just literally re-released this icon upgrade SBC. Same requirements, same price because people liked it. They liked the availability to do it multiple times and it's uncapped, right? Now that we have gotten past max 87, max Max 89. I don't want to go back to any more capped icon packs. I don't know about you, but that's just me, right? I would want to stay away from anything that is capped in rating because I don't want my ceiling to be. I don't. I want to be able to hit the, the R9, the Jarzinho, the Vieira, the Hullet, and stuff like that at this stage of the game. And I don't want to be taking a step backwards, even if it is a player pick. So let me know in the comments what you think about that. But if I had to guess today, guys. I think we would get a re-release of the base icon upgrade SBC. Now, we could get a hero SBC again today too, but they've been doing more of the heroes and less of the icons. And I think if EA, honestly, if EA are smart, then they re-release this SBC because last week, and again, like I mentioned, and I'm sure you guys know this as well, with the amount of icons that I saw on people's teams, people did the icon upgrade a lot last week. And I think EA would... Uh, get some people to open more packs if they did it again. I mean, it's the biggest draw to a upgrade SBC in this game, an icon upgrade. So I think we will get some sort of icon upgrade SBC today or tomorrow. Sundays have been the most popular day for that. Now, can we invest for this, right? Because last time that it did drop, it was an 86 and an 87 rated squad. And the 86 rated squad did require an inform, right? So I think a lot of people today are going to be preparing for this by buying 86s to 88s and then also inform players. Like if you take a look at the 87 rated squad, still, I believe one of the cheapest ways to do an 87 rated squad is by using, look at that, one, two, three, four, five 88 rated players and then filling in the rest with 187 and then a couple of 84s and 83s that's the cheapest way according to footbin to get an 87 rated squad done so i think a lot of people and you already started to see it on the market right as we look at this bernardo silva yesterday as these 88s dropped off they've kind of started to rebound already that low point was a couple hours after content when 88s were 22,000 coins apiece they're starting to go up 22,000 coins for 88s is 
overall an insane price anyway if you think about it with the Mbappe that is out all the other player SBCs like the icon players like Dog Leash and Balak that do have some higher rated squads in there uh, with all those SBCs that are available right now and all the fodder packs that EA is giving us like it is honestly not a bad investment seeing prices that low anyways so 88 to 22k doesn't seem too bad but we need an icon pack like that today to make them go back up to like 25,000 coins, kind of to where they were type of thing. That would have to happen to make those cards go up. And if they do require an inform, since once again, it was an inform in an 86 rated squad, informs at the moment, yes, we do have the team of the week player pick SBC. Informs at the moment are about 26K, 26.5 right here for Chevalier. Um, if I was going to invest in any informs today, guys, I would probably stick to 85 rated informs forms and above um, you take a look at some of the, sh the cheapest 86 rated informs right now it's like Pau Torres who's impacts as a current team of the week like 28k a little bit more than a normal inform but these cards are more rare and of course if that same requirement icon pack were to come out today these informs would probably go up some more I'm sure you guys traded with guys like like DACA or Anthony Robinson last week right that was a missed snipe there I would take any 80 I would take any inform at 25k but I would for sure take ooh 26.5 I'll take an 86 rated inform. No, I won't. I'll I'll pay 27.5. No, I won't. Okay, people are investing in these informs. So if we don't get the SBC today, these cards will definitely drop off afterwards. That kind of goes without saying. But I wouldn't be surprised if some of the 86 rated informs rose into content today. And then of course at the 88 rated cards, at 22,000 coins. These might just be a decent club stock anyway. If I can pick up a Renard here, like maybe, I don't know, get on some cheeky bids. We've got squad battle rewards this morning. So if you wanted to try to get in on fodder, this is kind of the dip that I was talking about on like Thursday of last week when I sold some of my 88s for like 25, 24, 750 to 25K. I was hoping for this sort of dip on the weekend to get back in. So I'm going to go probably do a little club stock myself. I'm not going to buy a, a, a bunch. I'm just buy a couple of those 88s at about 22k because if we get an icon SBC today those could go up you could also look at 89s because they are down and you could even take a peek at like 87s because they're down a little bit as well but it's that honestly with ea giving out so many of those packs like 83 double 84 times two or even the 83 plus player picks inside of all these objectives we can do whether it's the crafting whether it's the gameplay one People are going to be getting a lot of the lower tier fodder, right? It's uh, plenty of 83s and 84s that you can get from all these packs, but it's the 86s, 7s, 8s, and above that you can't get as much and you have to spend more coins on. So that's where I'd be investing if you wanted to pull the trigger on some of those cards in the next couple of hours heading into today's content drop on Sunday. So that's kind of the whole icon pack situation. Really don't think there's an icon player pick coming today. Unless you see a leak that says otherwise, I'd be very, very surprised to see a legit icon player pick this early in the game it just feels like too much too soon now let's talk about some more content coming potentially today of course i don't know if there's a menu of these coming guys uh, it seems like we've got a lot of players that are impacts already like we've got a full squad and then like a full bench plus some as well seems like a very full team i mean there could be cards that are coming out today this the more that i read into things i don't see too many things saying team one this might just end up being a one week promo I'm not entirely sure. Um, it could be two weeks, but with the size of the team here, it seems like it might just be a one-week promo. We'll have to see. Um, but we might have a mini release today. We might not. So watch out for a couple more cards and packs. There's no leaks on that, really, unless there was some of the leaks from earlier on last week about who was in the initial promo team we, that we haven't seen players of uh, leaked yet. Maybe those are going to be coming out. Kind of watch for that today. But some leaks that we actually have for SBCs, I would expect one of the leaked three SBC players that we have to come today. Kaiseto is the most recent leak, and that's actually a pretty big card. I know some people have been evoing um, his card already. As you see a response tweet here to the leak uh, that, you know, you can already evo Kaiseto via a couple of evolutions, probably to an 87 rated, which not very many people would have. But uh, at least probably to an 85 Kaiseto, you could have evolved already. I don't know what his card is going to come out as today, but that would be a card that would help out with some Premier League links. Again, Chelsea links with the radioactive chemistry. That'd be a pretty hyped SBC uh, for Kaiseto. And then also we have an end of an era SBC leak for Sinclair. Another NWSL player coming uh, as an end of an era SBC. And I take a look at Sinclair's card because I'm genuinely curious 
Uh, it is Canadian Sinclair, which is her base is an 83 rated gold, center attacking mid, four star, five star. That is pretty good. Can also play center mid and striker. That is not the same Sinclair. Just kidding. Uh, unless there's an issue with the club. Her club on that leak says, uh, I think something's messed up with the club, guys, because it says that she does not play for Portland on her actual card in the game. It says that she plays for, is that Portland? Uh, Portland Thorns. Oh, it's because, yeah, Portland. Yeah, all right. The women's Portland team. Wrong logo. GG's foot sheriff. Anyways, um, that could be a nice card. Really good shooting. Like 86 shooting. That doesn't have to get boosted that much. The dribbling looks solid apart from agility and balance. She is five foot nine and has finesse shot, power shot, power header, anticipate, and Trivella. An attacking player with anticipate. This could be a very jammy card. Imagine having a, a striker or a center attacking mid that has the improved chances of standing tackle success while you're pressing in your opponent's 18 with 71 depth like everybody runs anyway. So <laughs> interesting opportunities right there. So that's an end of an era card that's been leaked. It might not be coming until later on this week, but that will be another link if you still have Rapino or if you have Krieger from NWSL. Those are kind of leaked cards right now. And then, of course, we still have Dia, the Serie A striker that could be coming soon, too. And then, of course, we have an Evolution still that is to come out. It might be today. Sundays have been days where they have dropped Evolutions uh, in the past. We've already had the Radioactive Maestro. I think it's called the Relentless Ra radioactive relentless i think that's the leak and it is a left back evolution guys so sounds like the next evo is a relentless named evo once again and it's a left back player so watch out for left backs maybe in your club um maybe don't start a new evo for any of these if a left back is somebody with an alternate position that you wanted to put in so watch out for that one also maybe be a little bit careful with other left back player prices just in case the Evo is like insanely good. That could be today. That also might not be today. We'll have to see. Now, let's talk market just a little bit more. If we do get an icon pack today, I do believe there will be some panic. And these cards, as expected yesterday, were really, really good to trade in. I told you in last night's video that I bought two Oshawalas. I bought two Oshawala right here at 420,000 coins. I sold them about right here at 470, 480. It was a good flip. She went a little bit higher, all the way to 490. Content drop, she went back to 440, then to 470. She's 420k right now. I can say I just picked up an Oshawala at 410. This card is so good to flip. It's very rare, as a lot of these radioactives are. And if she goes back up to like 450k today, I'll be happy. 417 is still sitting right there. Very rare card. I like these. I like these cards. These cards are really, really good to flip, man. Kavicha is very low. And this is what I look for when I go from like day two of a promo into day three, from like a Saturday into a Sunday. I look for cards that have dropped off a lot. That are also cards that bounced around pretty good in the previous day. And they're just cards that people want to pick up and, and try and rare. Like I try to stick to the rare ones. Araujo was a card that I flipped from five. What did I buy him for? 550 to 620 uh, the first night. And right now he's down to even 500,000 coins flat. I'm tempted to try to flip an Araujo today. Tempted to, to try to flip a uh, Kavicha because he was like 700k. And now he's 550. Like 550 seems very, 543, it seems very low. He could very easily be 600,000 coins again. So it's just kind of a quick flipping opportunity for some of these. Maybe even a card like Soboslai or Zaha today could go up after the squad battle rewards. As people want to try these cards, man. It just genuinely feels like people want to go and try these cards. I bought Zaha last night for 120. He went to 136. I got a couple sales at 140. It was very good. He did drop off a lot. And I would expect I would expect to see some of these promo cards dropping off further today. Again, if we get an icon pack, if we get something hype, that is probably going to create a really good opportunity to invest in these cards and I'm going to say this as well, also invest in the team of the week, not necessarily the cheaper cards that we already mentioned, but like Teo Hernandez, Dybala, Graham Hansen, and Trent Alexander-Arnold could be really good investments out of this week's team of the week. Um, sometime either today, maybe tomorrow, I would closely watch those cards because I think there's potential with this team of the week this week, especially for some really meta cards inside of it. So, yeah, guys, today could be a good day in the market. The market seems very healthy in general, right? I had a couple of good flips yesterday. Uh, I sold Cancelo for 207. A lot of cards are just rising nicely, specifically the Thunderstruck cards as we already looked at. And there's been good flips on a lot of these Oshawals. Oh, I sold that one at 467. What was I doing? I sold that 10K too low. 
Anyways, the market is nice right now, right? And I think that could be shaken up a bit today if we get an icon pack. But who's going to complain about an icon pack, especially when fodder is so readily available in the lower tier? We, we want to get to crafting EA. Give us something to craft towards because we had that last week. We want that this week as well. You gave us the crafting upgrade, but give us like an upgrade pack for like icons, heroes. Bring that back. And this will be a good week on this game. So if you're excited for this content today, drop a thumbs up on the video. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Accountant. See you guys later. Peace. Out.